This is just a quick book placement, uh, product placement for my books under the author name Derek Hemingway. Uh, first, we have the first installment in um, The Human Saga, which is my epic trilogy of novellas about a future civilization of corporate fascism that is being invaded by an alien cult. We have The Mortician's Daughter, a dark fantasy set in Mesoamerica about a sorceress who blocks out the sun uh, to create a kingdom of darkness and evil full of ghosts and monsters. It's fucking awesome. Uh, part two of the Human Saga, and then part three. There's currently my first full-length novel in the works, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, that's about all. That heathen bastard! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to That Heathen Bastard. Say hello to my my new microphone. I love this microphone. It's really awesome. I love it. I'm glad I bought it. It's kick-ass. Let's do this. So, remember that this is not a news show. This is a platform for political talking points. If you want news, go to Sticks, Hex, and Hammer, and Tim Pool. Among other sources. Maybe Lauren Southern, if you're so inclined. Now, today I wanted to discuss um, why big government is more dangerous than big business. In case you're wondering, when I'm developing my talking points for politics and talking about my ideology as it grows and develops, I like to discuss just whatever thought rolls into my head while I'm meditating on politics. And I felt that this needs to be said, because I have not heard this before. I know that uh, conservatives are worried about big government, liberals are worried about big business. Well, I'm here to tell you that big government should be the concern of both, because it is more dangerous. Now, first let's talk about the goal of business. What is the goal of business? Well, that's simple, to make money. The goal of business is to make money. And making money does not require an assertion of control over another person, right? All it really requires is some advertisement, location, 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 a good product people will like, etc. It, do, it may require some coercion, but it does not require direct violence or direct control. See, this is why big business is not necessarily all that dangerous to the individual, at least. It may be dangerous to the environment, and therefore dangerous to the individual indirectly, but those things can usually be mitigated, right? If they start dumping into your lake, you can usually clean it up, albeit it's difficult, but you can do it, right? Big business, the danger is mostly indirect, and it's mostly a financial danger. Those kind of things you can recover from. It is a little bit of a mountain out of a molehill. Now, here's the goal of government. The goal of government, at least properly, is to govern. That means to create laws and rules for society and to keep society together. This often requires a direct control over others, which is why it is more dangerous. Big government often sees an increase in desire for greater degrees of control. That is why government, big government is more dangerous, because it asserts more control and it asserts more dominance. Now, here's the methods of big business. Big business, typically, they go for tax breaks, they look for uh, locations for setting up stores, they take out competitors, and at the end of the day, their main methodology for sales is commercialism. To put ads on the TV, to put ads on the street, Distracting? Yes. Dangerous? No. They're only really doing uh, a persuasion tactic. They're persuading you to come to their establishment and buy their stuff. That is the only danger to you. And the danger to the environment may not be as great as it seems. I would argue that the government is a greater danger to the environment because of environmental controls. Because the environment is a complicated system of cause and effect that we human beings do not yet fully understand. So we have no business messing around with it, right? Something that big and that complicated, crafted by Mama Nature, does not need to be messed with by a human being, which is high on itself. Government is more dangerous to that as well. 
Now, here's another way government is more dangerous than big business. How does government control people? Well, I don't know. Gee, uh, how do you get the taxes to be paid? I know. Give us your money or we send armed men to take you and lock you in a, in a cage. And if you refuse to go with them to be locked in the cage, they shoot you dead. <laughs> Can big business shoot you dead with stormtroopers? No. No, it can't. Big business doesn't have stormtroopers. Big government has stormtroopers. Only big government can take you away and lock you in a cage. And even, yes, I know you're going to say, well, what about the, what about the uh, private prisons or for-profit prisons? The people who own the for-profit prisons can't arrest you. They can only lock you up after you've been arrested. It's the government who arrests you. See? Another government method, of course, is coercion. Other than the use of violence, it is also coercion. You have to coerce people sometimes. You have to offer them tax breaks. You have to offer them deals. You have to offer them this. Uh, work for this company, we offer you money. Uh, be a citizen of this country, we offer you welfare and an ID. Uh, you know, This is a coercive tactic. We offer you things. And we use violence to enforce those things. And oftentimes, foreign policy is violence. Big government often takes away people's rights and abuses them for control. Big business can't do that, or if it could, probably wouldn't. Because taking away people's rights through violence would actually harm business. Oftentimes, those rights are needed in order to make a sales exchange. Ultimately, this is why progressives are often very foolish. They're so worried about big business. What they don't realize is, one, big government, again, is more dangerous than big business. And two, where you have one, you typically have the other. Big government inevitably gets in bed with big business as it grows. Making regulations in the market makes it possible, market regulations, for makes it possible for the CFOs of these companies and the regulators to have full-on personal contact with one another that they can use to make deals. That is where the tax breaks occur. That is where the dirty deals occur, is when the CFOs meet with the legislatures and they do bribes. That is how that works. Like, oh, if you give us this tax break, we'll uh, support your campaign. If these meetings were not occurring, that couldn't happen. The market regulations actually make big business worse, not better. That's why you're foolish, progressives. That is why you're foolish. You're making the thing you're so afraid of damn near guaranteed. Now, there is such a thing as reasonable business regulations, right? You can't, you know, you got to make sure that the businesses aren't putting anything poisonous or dangerous in the food or the pills like they might have done years ago in the, in the days of tonics in the 1800s. You know, people would get killed by a product that was bad and companies couldn't be punished because it was more or less laissez-faire. There are clear flaws to the laissez-faire. Sorry, libertarians, but some market regulations need to be there. I'm more in favor of an open market as opposed to a free market, right? A market that is open to everyone so that everyone may use it. Right now, the marketplace is not open, at least not completely. You have to be at least middle class in a lot of cases to even get into the market. Hell, half the time you need to get a license just to be, you know, old Granny Consuela trying to sell her churros on the street corner. She needs a license to sell her churros, and churros can't hurt anybody, although they're damn tasty. Love me a churro. This idea that you have to license in municipalities, that's obviously too far. Licensing is a little crazy in this country. But you have to have some common sense regulations to make sure that there aren't any poisons in the food. And if there are, companies will suffer reasonable consequences. I would argue that there should also be common sense government regulations, i.e. regulations that say the government can't do this or can't do that to keep it from harming, harming people. Actually, we already have regulations. You know what they're called? The Bill of Rights, the Constitution, there's your control over the government, there's your regulations right there. Your common sense regulation 
is the Constitution and the Supreme Court. That keeps the government nice and small. Why is government? Why is small government a good idea? Because small government doesn't have stormtroopers to drag you away. Small government can abuse you and take away your rights. They can't really censor you. They can't really attack you. All they can do is their fucking job, which is all the government ought to be doing, is their fucking job. Govern the country. Establish laws. Keep society together. Establish for infrastructure. And keep the market open. Other than that, the rest is none of your concern. I want you out of my bloodstream, out of my bedroom, and out of my fucking life as much as humanly possible. That is the dream, man. That is the dream. A sensible government that makes certain that big business follows the rules, makes sure that everybody follows the rules, and we can have a safe, successful society. But as long as we're expanding government and making it bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually it becomes God itself, you're going to see your rights taken away. You're going to see violence, censorship, like you wouldn't fucking believe. It's like, but we have to stop big business. No, we have to stop big government. It's three times as dangerous. As I said before, uh, as I said before, Big business can't send stormtroopers to drag you off or to kill you. But big government can. That's an important distinction. Big government can use a type of violence that big business simply cannot. That alone makes the whole idea of big business being the great evil fucking stupid. Anyway, with that being said, there will be a link in the description below to my books. Please buy, download, read them, and as always, choose peace.